I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with Him. My dear friend, I encourage you as I pray for you today and as I share a message with you, be in agreement, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello to you, my dear friend. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and it's so good to be with you today. It is indeed another day that God has given us by His grace, and by the grace of God, we will press on and we will never give up. My dear friend, it is another day to live to the fullest. It is another day to press in and to touch the hem of His garment. I tell you, my dear friend, you will never regret the times that you spend in the presence of God. I tell you from life experience, the most valuable times that we have as believers is the times that God gives us in His presence. Because in God's presence, there is solutions to our problems. In God's presence is where we find the keys that we need in order to make it through. In God's presence is where we find the solutions to the big problems that we face on a daily basis. In God's presence, is where we find the solution to the problem that we can't solve in the natural. In God's presence is where we find the healing that we need for our bodies, for our spirit, and for our soul. So today as we spend time in the presence of God, enjoy every minute of it and press in and touch the hem of His garment. Put a demand on the Lord in faith and you will receive whatever you are trusting God for. God will bless you. Now, the title of the message that I've got for you today, my dear friend, is The Key to Greatness as a Believer is the Sword. So today, my dear friend, we're going to be taking our reading from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 from verse 17 all the way to verse 19. And I'm going to be reading to you from the ISV version. And it starts out by saying in verse 17, it says, Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I didn't come to destroy them, but to fulfill them. Verse 18, because I tell you with certainty that until heaven and earth disappear, not one letter or stroke of a letter will disappear from the law until everything has been accomplished. Verse 19, so whoever sets aside one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom from heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. My dear friend, in this passage of scripture, many people simply focus into the word commandments and they stop there. But this verse speaks about the Bible in its entirety. You see, my dear friend, think of it this way. The Old Testament is like part one of a movie that leaves you in suspense. It ends and it leaves you in suspense. And the New Testament is like part two that completes the whole picture. This is why Jesus says, I didn't come to destroy them, but to fulfill them. I'll read that to you once again. In verse 17, it says, Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I didn't come to destroy them, but to fulfill them. You know, one thing that I've noticed happening in this time, and it scares me, I've noticed that people are slowly moving away from the Word of God without recognizing that the Word of God is the key to greatness in the kingdom of God. This is why Jesus said, But whosoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom from heaven. As you take the word of God and you make it the standard for your life, you will be great as a believer. God will use you mightily in various sectors, maybe in your business, in the area of business, God will use you, or maybe in your workplace. It does not have to be in a church that God uses you. Wherever you find yourself, even in your community, God can use you. And this is what happens as you take the Word of God and you put it into practice. Now, apart from greatness, my dear friend, the Word of God will also protect you from end-time deception. You know, I spoke about this in the Monday Prophetic Word that uh, we're living in a time that is classified as the end times. It's not the last day, but it is the end times and the signs of the times are showing. And if you want to protect yourself from the deception that will manifest in this time, in this time period that is classified as the end times, then you need to stick to the Word of God. Do you know as a born-again believer that you are the number one target for the Antichrist? The Antichrist is trying to derail believers all around the world. And the only hedge of fire protection against the Antichrist is the double-edged sword known as the Word of God. So my dear friend, it's so essential that we stick to the Word of God. Stick to the Word of God and you'll have true inner happiness. Stick to the Word of God 
and you'll overcome depression and all demonic attacks that can come against your life. The Word of God is the key to blessing, favor, and more of the anointing in your life. It has all the principles, it has all the secrets, it has all the keys that you need to succeed in life. Even if you have read the Bible hundred times, my dear friend, my advice to you is never get tired of reading the Bible. Read it again and again and again until you finish the race successfully. Did you know this Christian life is a race? It is a race and we must press on so that we receive the prize. We must run this race in such a way that we will receive the prize. But in order to receive the prize, we must run according to the rules. And the rules are set out in the Word of God. In your heart, simply take time to quiet down and ask, what does the Word of God say? Apply the Word of God in real life situations. And when you are faced with tough situations, ask, what does the Bible say in this situation? In your business, in your workplace, wherever you go, my dear friend, in your community, when you are amongst friends, Ask yourself in your heart, what does the Bible say? Remember, my dear friend, the greatest and the most powerful preaching through any situation is your actions because actions speak louder than words. And as you follow the word of God in your actions, people around you will see you. Your light will shine. God will use your actions as the greatest preaching that anyone can give into those people's lives. And God will bless you, my dear friend. Now, in saying that, my dear friend, let us go into a time of prayer. Take your cell phone, your device, just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, my dear friend, begin to lift up praises to God. As the praises go up, the blessings of God will come down and God will touch and change your life forever. In saying that, let us begin to praise Him. Father, You are our God and we just praise You. We love You. We thank You for Your presence. We thank You for Your power that's available right here, even in studio. We thank you, Lord, that your power and your presence is there where my dear friend is. And we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you that as we seek you and we put your word into practice, you will come through for us mightily. We thank you, Lord, that the true power of your spirit is released when we hold on to your word. And we thank you that as we hold on to your word, we cannot go wrong. Lord, today, even as you release the grace so that my dear friend can follow your word, we give you praise. We give you thanks. We thank you, Lord, that we will surely make progress as we hold on to your word. Now, Father, I pray as you do what only you can do today as we pray. Take, my dear friend, to a greater glory and receive all the praise, Lord. Receive all the honor. Receive all the glory. As you do what only you can do in my dear friend's life. Receive all the praise, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, our Lord is gracious and is merciful and I discern the presence of God. Now, we're going to go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin to pray. And even as we begin to pray, my dear friend, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do is lift up your hands. And the reason why you lift up your hands is it's a sign of surrender. And say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you in this place. Come and touch me today. As I pray and as I choose to read your word, touch me and take me closer to Christ. I ask this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Protect my dear friend in all that my dear friend does. Help my dear friend to stick to your word. Wherever the devil or any evil forces are coming up against us, we understand and we know that we can overcome by holding on. And even as the Word of God is infused into our lives and becomes part of our testimony, we understand and we know that we can overcome the devil. So Father, I pray, release the grace that the double-edged sword will become a mighty weapon within the life of my dear friend. In whatever situation that my dear friend may be going through, release your double-edged sword. Let your Word become life. Let your Word become revelation to my dear friend. Let your word be seasoned with power and quickened. Let it go out on a mission and come back having fulfilled what it went out to do. Father, I pray even as my dear friend begins to follow your word and the leading that is set out by the Holy Spirit in line with your word. Father, I pray that you will let my dear friend's life become an example to people around them. Let them be an example and let their light shine. Father, for we understand and we know that the greatest preaching is through our actions as believers. 
not through our words but through our actions so as we live your word as we put it into practice we understand and we know that lives around us will be impacted as we make the right decision at the right time we know that promotion will come because lord your word also shows us that if we can be trusted with little we can be trusted with much so even as my dear friend takes your word and applies it in that place and my dear friend is found to be trustworthy with little let my dear friend be found to be trustworthy with much bless my dear friend with more and more and more thank you father that as we follow your word we become good stewards of the assets and the possessions that you give us thank you father that the grace of stewardship and wisdom is released when one meditates on your word thank you lord that the grace of increase is released when one meditates on your word so even today we thank you lord that as we choose your word as we refuse to go in the direction that the whole world might be taking and we choose to go in the direction of the word release more blessing blessing that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow and release more of your power and your anointing in order to do great exploits for your word also says those who know their god shall be strong and do great exploits make my dear friend who's watching this video strong so that my dear friend may do great exploits amen and amen my dear friend as you hold on to the word of god may you be blessed may you be blessed in all that you do may you be blessed going in and coming out in the mighty name of jesus god said it i believe it and that settles it from myself evangelist gabriel fernandez god bless you and goodbye if you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and goodbye.